Mm. Namaste, welcome. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to all of you. Uh, happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. <clears throat> Hello, Portugal. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Brazil. Good to have you here. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, dokie. Florida, welcome. Istanbul, Mexico City, Sao Paulo, Brazil, the Lebanon, welcome. Mm, the Bay Area, Peru, welcome. Norway, good to have you with us. Island, hello. <laughs> Cornwall in the UK, beautiful part of the country. Las Vegas, welcome. Turkey, the geography part, yes. <laughs> All right. Kos Kosovo, Albania, welcome. Florida, India, Brazil. New York City, welcome. Portugal again, welcome. Houston, Texas, Colombia, Mauritius, welcome. Manila in the Philippines, Miami, Finland, Israel, Dubai, Portugal again. Good to have you all with us today. <clears throat> yes, this is where we, we circumnavigate the world. Dubai, <laughs> Los Angeles, North Carolina, Chicago. All right. Venezuela, welcome. New Jersey, Argentina, Nashville, Tennessee, Rancho Santa Margarita. <laughs> Sounds like a drink. <laughs> California, <clears throat> Mexico City. All right, welcome to all of you, Aptos, California, wherever you are, Iran, Italy, India, all the eyes, <laughs> Germany, Cologne, uh, Chile, Lexington, Kentucky, Aruba, South Africa, welcome, the Gold Coast of Australia, wow, you're up late or early. <laughs> Winnipeg, Canada, welcome. Pendle, Pendleton, Kentucky. All right, SL, not sure where that is, but anyway. Bonjour, Paris, welcome. Tehran, Miami, Argentina. All right, let's get rolling here before people start complaining. Algeria, welcome, Pomona. Uh, so anyway, we finished off um, our... Um, prayers uh, yesterday, which was uh, on Friday, for, we had two weeks of prayers, which was wonderful. I really loved that. I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, and, uh, you know, let's just finish again with this, um, uh, you know, from John O'Donoghue, uh, just to kind of wrap it all up again, because it was, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> so... So this is from John O'Donoghue. He said, give yourself time to make a prayer that will become the prayer of your soul. Listen to the voices of longing in your soul. Listen to your hungers. Give attention to the unexpected that lives around the rim of your life. Listen to your memory and the inrush of your future, to the voices of those near you and those you have lost. Out of all that attention to your soul, make a prayer that is big enough for your wild soul, yet tender enough for your shy and awkward vulnerability, that has enough healing to gain the ointment of divine forgiveness for your wounds, enough truth and vigor to challenge your blindness and complacency, enough graciousness and vision to mirror your immortal beauty, Write a prayer that is worthy of the destiny to which you have been called. Wow, I love that. Um, <clears throat> that's from John O'Donoghue. I don't know what book it's in, but anyway, he was an Irish poet. Um, so anyway, today our topic is wisdom. 
wisdom. And here's a quote. This is from uh, Bertrand Russell, the English uh, philosopher and uh, peace activist, uh, way back in the 60s. Um, to conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. To conquer fear is the beginning of wisdom. And, you know, how true is that? Um, you know, um, we sort of get all caught up in these fears and worries and concerns and things like that. But um, And all they do is distract us from our, from our spiritual journey, from everything else. And so... Um, really what we need to do is um, overcome that, and that's becoming wise. And uh, the other quote I love is um, where it says the, um, you know, ignorant person uh, wants uh, material possessions. And, you know, it doesn't mean say we shouldn't have material possessions, but, you know, um, that shouldn't be our only focus. So the ignorant person only wants material things. The intelligent person wants spiritual goals, has spiritual goals in his or her life. But the wise person just loves and everything comes to him or her. So that's wisdom. It's wisdom. It's just to love, just to be in love and have no fears, no no complaints, uh, no worries, just, just love. And uh, that's the way we'll get through the world and get through all this uh, crazy nonsense that's going on. So that per, uh, <clears throat> so this quote I just read, To Conquer Fear is the Beginning of Wisdom, this is from Bertrand Russell. The longer piece I read was from John O'Donohue. So there you go. Mm, all right. So why don't we meditate? Let's take all that within. We'll go to that place of, of wisdom within, because that's really what it is, is bringing, bringing who we are into our lives. Um, you know, we get caught up in all the crazy nonsense of the world, and that's, you know, I mean, there are some wise people out there, of course, but um, <laughs> a lot of it is chaos and confusion and no nonsense, so be careful who you listen to. Um, you know, ask yourself, is this is this right for me? And it doesn't matter who it is, you know, I mean, even if it's, you know, some, you know, famous, you know, spiritual leader, it doesn't mean to say that what they're saying is what's best for you. So you have to listen to yourself, listen to that deepest level. That's what the wise person does. You know, when that knowledge and all that stuff that we've collected, then we put it all together and then we become a wise person ourselves. Okay? So anyway, we'll use the mantra of Veda. Veda is that, you know, body of knowledge that comes from the creation itself. And so it's a wonderful, you know, that sort of enlivens that, that deeper understanding and wisdom within us, V-E-D-A, Veda. So let's close our eyes. Mm, let's take a few breaths. Allow your body to settle. Allow your body to open and expand. You know, that wisdom of love <clears throat> that comes from expansion, not from contraction. <clears throat> What's going on in your mind? See if you can let go of the distractions today. You know, all those worries and concerns. And yes, we need to take care of things in our lives, but for the next few minutes, just put them aside. Let's just, continue. Let's just begin silently, effortlessly, repeating the mantra, Veda, Veda, Veda. As you repeat it, just begin connecting with that wisdom of eternity, that immortal wisdom, the truth, Veda, Veda, Veda. Just allowing the vibration to take us beyond all the nonsense, all the chaos and confusion of the world into that wisdom, that inner wisdom, that inner truth, Veda. Veda, Veda. Let's just continue. I watch the time.
still with your eyes closed, please stop repeating the mantra. Just continue resting, resting in wisdom. I'll chant the Mahamrityanjaya mantra for health and longevity. Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sukhandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukamiva Bandhanat Mrityamakshi Amamrita Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now let's together send love, light and blessings out to the whole world. Just unconditionally. Sending blessings of love and light to everyone, everywhere. If you need some extra support in your life today, then please accept this love and light. And we'll finish with the four intentions for living a happy, healthy, harmonious life. Just repeating them after me joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Reflective, alert, wise mind. Lightness of being. Let's begin to deepen our breathing, gently moving, stretching the body, easing ourselves back into activity. And when you're ready, please open your eyes gently. Namaste. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining our group today. Um, have a wonderful rest of the day, a wonderful week ahead. Hopefully it's, um, it's a safe, happy, healthy one for you. Um, you know, here in the U.S., we seem to be uh, starting to you know, move through the pandemic, but uh, it's still there and uh, it's still causing havoc to people both here and, of course, many places around the world. So, um, you know, please be careful. Use your common sense. Uh, do the right things, look after yourself, look after others, and, um, you know, tap into that wisdom of the ages um, and uh, enjoy your life. So much love and blessings to all of you. Namaste.